Low head dams cause many deaths around the world annually. How can we retrofit low head dams for safe days? A low head dam allows water to flow over the top of the dam. It creates a pool above the dam to draw water off the river without stopping flow. The real danger of low head dams is the submerged hydraulic jump. This flow condition is created when the kinetic energy in the falling water creates a flow where a victim is dunked, surfaced, and then pulled back to the dam face, creating a deadly cycle. The science behind what creates a submerged hydraulic jump can be explained by the continuity equation. When supercritical flow goes over the crest of the dam, it is shallower than the subcritical flow in the tailwater, so the water must jump up, forming a hydraulic jump. When the hydraulic jump is submerged, it creates a reverse roller, with the current going back to the face of the dam. I wanted to discover the best way to retrofit a low head dam for safety. I studied a case history of a low head dam fatality and then used dimensional analysis to create an accurate model. I then designed a trough to simulate the low head dam condition. Using this to simulate a person, the boil line represents the limits of the submerged hydraulic jump. If the person is before the boil line, the current will suck them back to the dam face. So in retrofitting a low head dam, you want to eliminate the submerged hydraulic jump. Understanding the signs and the conditions that cause a submerged hydraulic jump, I found that in order to eliminate the condition, you must reduce the depth of the tailwater. By creating a ramp with a 5 to 1 slope, the tailwater gradually increases, not allowing for a submerged condition to occur. The ramp retrofit eliminates the submerged hydraulic jump and will save lives in my community and around the world.